All right, this is a cool video because I'm gonna show you how to make a temporary crown for your tooth at home if you lose a crown. This is the very first crown I ever made for a tooth missing or a crown that fell off right here. The one right before the gold tooth. Now you can tell it's a little discolored. Just a tiny bit different, but I think it's pretty good. And it stayed on for four weeks. All right, let's get started. Okay, guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I want to show you how to make a fake crown for your tooth at home. Okay? Uh, in another video, I showed you guys how to make a fake tooth at home <clears throat> using plastic moldable beads. But today, I'm going to show you actually how to make um, a temporary fake tooth crown at home in case you guessed it i broke a crown off and it broke off it's close enough to the surface where um they won't put a crown on it and they say i need an implant so i don't have the money for that right now so i found one of these cool kits online on amazon it's just some composite resin teeth you can get on amazon for like 11 12 bucks and some polycarboxylate cement is like some dental adhesive. <clears throat> and then you're also going to need just like a little Dremel tool, which I happen to have one, but if you don't have one, um, I'll just put links below the video where you can get these. I mean, you can get these guys for like, you know, 30, 40 bucks. You do have to have one to do this job. So anyways, that's a lot less than going to get a crown or an implant. This is the very first crown I made right here. Okay, you can see it looks just like a tooth. And um, I've had the cement in there and it just fits right in there. Okay. Sorry, it's not glued in. It does look real. Um, this one held for about four weeks. So, when I say temporary, I mean temporary. It's a temporary solution. But for four weeks, this guy held and I could eat anything with it. And um, the only time it popped out is when I was flossing and I pulled down and it popped off. But this is for people that still have a little bit of a post left to attach to. Okay, you have to have something there. If it's flat with your gum line, it's probably not gonna hold at all. You gotta have some kind of an existing post to attach to. Okay, now let's get started. I'll show you how to do this. All right, so let's open up this tooth kit here. <clears throat> the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and find a tooth that looks kind of like yours, same shape and size or similar size. All right, look down here, check this out. All right, so this package here, it comes with Oh man, 28 uh, teeth times six. It's a lot of teeth, but you should easily be able to find something in here that matches your teeth. And so like right away, I notice like it, it's gonna look like something like one of these right here. You get a good shot of that one there. You see that? Or, um, yeah, these would be like front teeth or bottom teeth right here. And then these would be like top teeth or molars. But um, yeah, just find one that's close or skinny enough to almost fit. <clears throat> I think these are probably the closest to what I have right here. So we'll just try one of these guys right here. All right, so it's got a little bit of adhesive on it. Take that off. And uh, yeah, get that. All right, now I'm gonna try to fit it in and see how tight it is. Okay. So I'm gonna have to take quite a bit off the sides, each side right here, and then I'm gonna probably hollow it out a little bit more so my post can fit in it. This is what you need to do, okay? 
you're gonna take your Dremel and I use what looks kind of like a dental bit anyways. And then we're just gonna take them, take some off the edges here. Come right in here. You can see there's some humps on the side. So we'll just take those down. Follow it out. Okay. Follow it out. Going to narrow this up a little bit. Get the sides a little bit more. Okay. All right, guys. Now I just want to kind of test the fit and just kind of see how close we're getting here. So. Can you see that? Okay. Ah, still a little tight. So I'm gonna take some more of the sides off here. Okay. All right, I took quite a bit off the sides. I'm just trying to get an initial fit and then we'll make our adjustments from there. That's how I did my last one. Okay. All right. It's getting closer, see? It just kind of gets in there nice and tight right now, but let me just keep working on it so I can get it to fit up in there. And if at all possible, Try, you know, if there's a way for you to make a little groove in the sides where it slides up against your other teeth to make a more natural fit, by all means, try to do that. All right, Let's see if it's getting closer yet. Can you see it good in there? Oh, look at that. It goes on. 
Now, when I buy, when I buy, I feel it sticking down below my other teeth. So I'm gonna make an adjustment so it goes up a little higher. Cool. Okay, just gotta tweak it a little bit here. Make sure it's not the inside of the tooth here. Open that up a little bit. Take some of the back out. Get down in here a little bit more. Make sure it's nice and open. And then uh, a little bit more here. A tiny bit more over here. Okay. Now, let's see if it goes down over for a nice fit. Make sure I'm not biting up against it from the bottom. See it? It looks a little weird. I went around it and it's still hitting on my bottom teeth a little bit. So I'm going to take just a little bit off these tips. Okay. A couple things I'm going to do is I'm going to round this out a little bit and take a little bit off the tips. Make it look a little more natural here. Take a little bit of these nubs off. Just like you're at the dentist's office. Okay. All right. See how it fits and feels. Do the bite test. Okay. Yeah. Looks good. It feels really, really good. You like it? It's close. Okay. Okay. I can feel my post rubbing on the inside of this just a little bit, and I want to get that off. I want there to be a little space between the bottom of the fake tooth and my post, because I want it to form its own seat totally inside the glue. Got a little dust on there. I don't want the post resting right up against the, um, the hole that we're making. I should be close. I should be getting really close. All right. I want to make sure it's just not rubbing on anything. We got it looking pretty lifelike. You almost can't tell that it's, you know, a different tooth. And then we'll see if it rubs now. 
close. Try the bite test. Does it look good? Okay, come here. Okay. I can get it right there. It's biting just a little tiny bit. I'm hitting on my bottom teeth a little bit. I'm gonna take it out and I'm gonna take a little bit more just off the bottom here, okay? Take a little more out of here just to make sure it's not hitting. Make sure the back of the tooth ain't hitting or isn't hitting. Okay. This one ought to fit. Yeah. Okay. That feels pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. All right, it goes up in all the way. There it is. Look. Good? Oh yeah. All right. Stop it. Okay, I know that was a bit of a process, but I wanted to show you step-by-step step how I would make a tooth. And um, it is a little bit timely, but you can make, you know, a perfect tooth if you try. You just need to work at it. Next step is to glue it on. We're going to use this, uh, we're going to mix up this polycarboxylate cement. And um, you can get, I mean, there's other kinds of resins on YouTube, or I mean on Amazon. And I would suggest trying those out. This is the only one I've tried so far. And like I said, I got about four weeks out of it. Um, what we need is... Uh, just a little one of these pieces of paper to mix it on right here okay and you take with this here the powder or this uh, cement powder you take one level scoop okay and you put it on here on the paper okay and then you take three drops of the polycarboxylate cement liquid. One, two, three. And then you mix it together. And then you don't have very much time, so you gotta kinda be ready to get that tooth in. So we mix this up. Just keep mixing the powder back in that gel or that liquid. This one looks like I got a little bit powdery, but I think I might've got a little extra in there, but it's still turning to the paste. It'll make a great bond. It's all right if you don't get it all, just try to get it as good as you can. Get it to a nice consistency. Okay, and then once you have enough there, okay, Scrape it up. Take your new tooth, right? See this? 
Okay, so now we gotta put the resin in here, inside the tooth, like that. Just fill it up all the way around. Get just a little extra in there, which is fine. All right. Go ahead and get that all in there to where it's nice and full. All right. Now I'm gonna just set that tooth in there and let it set up about five minutes. Okay. Now I'm just gonna hold it here. Five minutes. Shut the camera off. It is the next day after I made that video and I forgot one crucial step if the tooth pops off right away, just go ahead and glue it right back on. I noticed with mine the first time, it kind of popped off a little easy, but then when I glued it back on this right after it did that, it stuck way better. And I'm sure there's some bonding agents you can find out there that are stronger and better, but um, for me, you know, this one works pretty good. But little tip for you. Okay, it's been about five minutes. I'm back and uh, it's set and um, it feels pretty good. It's not quite as good as the first one I did, but I um, I just wanted to show you for the video. <clears throat> now, if it ever pops off, all you have to do is put a little dab of glue back in where you had originally seated that tooth. This is the first one I made right here. And I mean, I'm telling you what, this one was a perfect fit. I mean, I didn't even, I couldn't even tell it was a different tooth. It was great. And um, so it's really easy to put these back on if they do pop off. And I eat with mine, sleep with it. Um, yeah, until it pops off, I'm gonna keep gluing it back on. Or until, you know, well, I'm just gonna keep gluing it back on every time it pops off, period. Until I can afford to get a um, actual implant, which is like three or $4,000. Anyways. When I'm talking, you know, you can't really, you can't even really tell, honestly. This one, it does stick out a little more than the original one I made. If you tweak it, you can get it to fit in there as good as you want it. And that's on you. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Like I said, the links below this video where I got these um, are on Amazon. And um, anytime you make a purchase through my links, I do make a commission. So thank you in advance for everybody that has done that because I have sold like thousands of fake tooth kits through my last video. And um, anyways, thanks for the support. Um, obviously, I don't make enough off of these videos yet to go buy a implant. So I hope a whole bunch of you watch this and it helps you out. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And uh, leave me some good com uh, feedback in the comments below.